Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Uh, back tonight working on all oh, bud. Um, so, remember you guys, I told you that the water pump, I think, was the issue, my dad said. And I don't know why, but it hasn't uh, made itself known until now. But I started up earlier, uh, earlier this evening, and she was leaking out the bottom. So, I just made a, uh, made a mess. But right now, I'm just trying to, dra trying to drain the, uh, trying to drain the radiator so that we can change out the water pump on this thing. Um, the little, uh, this thing here, I couldn't get it unseized, nor was there really an easy way to get it out of there. So I just grabbed a, uh, a quarter inch uh, NPT air fitting and a short piece of hose. Obviously I made a little bit of a mess, but we'll clean that up. <clears throat> but anyhow, I'm gonna start by draining the coolant as much out as I can anyway. And uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure why we're not getting any more out of it. But anyhow, that's what I'm doing this evening. Gonna change out the water pump, got a new serpentine belt. Um, the idler may or may not be faulty, I'm not sure yet. But first things first, get that changed out and then change the belt and we can go from there. But <clears throat> that's, all that's, uh, that's all I'm doing tonight, guys. Just kind of hanging out, working on the truck. Also, have another issue on the uh, on the flatbed that need to kind of address a little bit, maybe later. But we'll see what happens. Just kind of hanging out, working on the truck. So I finally got the two uh, the two bolts out, and as you can see, right there, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but behind that piece of wire loom, which is right in the way, obviously. Uh, I know that I c could take the uh, the fan off and obviously make it a lot easier myself, but I didn't want to do that because it's a little more work. But I finally got it out with a standard uh, just. Standard wrench. It's got the bottom one out down there. So now I'm ready to just pop this off, pull it out. Kind of hard to get a camera in there though. That's why I kind of shut it off. But anyhow, let's yank that sucker out of there. Okay, so I done took the air light down, and uh, now that I'm um, all dirty, 
But as you saw, I got the uh, got the water pump on, got the new belt on, put the coolant back in it. I bled the coolant from this. Uh, sorry, any point where I'm looking at. Got the coolant blood from this very uh, top <clears throat> heater hose uh, kind of line, whatever. Um, just kind of vent the air. It, I'm sure there's still some some air left in it, but hopefully, whenever the uh, thermostat kicks up next time, it, it works itself out. But uh, we're full. We're full on coolant right now. But like I said, obviously, whenever the thermostat kicks up, and it'll probably suck some of that in. I don't really got anything other than it was a it was a real pain trying to get that last uh, that last bolt up in there, but I got it on, got it tight. Now it's fired up. Check for leaks real quick, and we're gonna back it out of here and uh, probably bring the other truck in here. So I almost forgot that uh, I ordered some new headlights and I forgot they came in. So we're going to go ahead and install these. Right I don't know if these are uh, worth anything or not, but and yeah, they were they were pretty fairly priced. Do they look okay? Anyhow, let's stick them in the truck and see what happens. Alright, so like I have any more room in the shop, but I've been needing one of these for quite some time and I got a 20% off coupon from Harbor Freight, so I figured it's time to just whatever. It was like 85 bucks. So anyway, let's let's put this together real quick, put it aside, and then we'll get back to what's going on here, which I'm not really sure. Alright, so I'm underneath the truck, and as you can see, there's there's stuff everywhere. It's leaking. It's, it's all over the place. And it's really, it's kind of weird because it's not, <clears throat> doesn't feel j like just coolant. I don't, I don't know. But, <clears throat> I can kind of see, it's really hard even for me to see way up in there. That the the water pump on this might be the issue 
mixed in with this thing's, you know, this thing's got almost 300,000 miles on it. So I'm sure <sighs> front main's probably leaking pretty good. I see, I see cooling all up in here as well. No, you can't see. But I don't know. I think, I think the fan is just throwing it everywhere, which is throwing me off. But I'm, if I had to guess, I think it's the water pump. But from up here, you know, the, the water pump, it's kind of hard to tell, but I mean, it looks, it looks fairly dry around it. So, so the belt, the belt is slinging something. So the belt is right underneath that. So I guess, I don't know, I definitely smell coolant. But then again, it's, it's, it's different. I'm not really sure. But anyhow, I might as well uh, change this one out, you know? I already did one tonight, why don't we, why don't we do two, right? All right, so I'm gonna go with the assumption that it is that it is a water pump because about a year prior, um, I noticed a little bit of weepage under there and I went proactive and I went and bought a, bought a new water pump for it. So this has just been, been sitting around. I replaced the radiator maybe a year, year and a half ago at the most. And then it was like shortly after I noticed the water pump. So I wish I would've, would've done that at the same time, but oh well. But anyhow, what I'm trying to say is, we'll save that for another video. We'll catch back up on that later. But anyhow, at least we got a old bud water pump changed out on her. Him, her, old bud. I don't know what I'm, we'll have about that yet, but got that done. And I think I know we got a plan to go forward on that one. But anyhow, guys, thanks for watching, as always, and we'll see you on the next one.